Okay, so I just got my Motorola Moto Z3 fresh in the box. Looks like they've already opened it up for me a little bit, but I have not unpeeled it to see the phone inside. So here we go. All right, first off is the sleeve. We've got this box. It's this bright red color with some black on the side. Pretty snazzy, but honestly looks like a box. There is a 64 gigabytes of storage and the black color is called ceramic black. It's an interesting detail that they, that they didn't share during the presentation. Um, here is our Verizon SIM card because this phone is a Verizon exclusive in the US. I'm still not clear if the Z3 is going to sell outside of the US ever or if it will sell unlocked later on down the line. Um, but the partnership with Verizon is important and we'll get to that in a minute. Hello Moto, hello to you too. And here is the phone in the box. Uh, I'm holding it upside down, good move. Um, here's the phone in the box. Um, it has this plastic sheet on the front that kind of gives you a hint of where everything is. So even if you've never seen this phone before, you can kind of take a look and see where the fingerprint sensor is. P.S. It's moved to the right spine so that for right-handed people, your thumb will just access it and unlock it. But I digress. All right, that can just go there. Um, so now I'm looking at the phone, it's totally blank. I'm gonna turn it on, hopefully there's some battery in here. And will it say hello Moto? Anyway, um, you are looking at a six inch super AMOLED screen. Uh, the bezels are pretty thin, this is a very modern design. It's got an 18 by nine screen ratio. It did say hello Moto to me, so um, that's kind of a classic Motorola move there. The phone in the hand feels very slim, and that is because this is a phone that works with Motorola's mod ecosystem. So those are modular devices that snap on magnetically to these pogo pins. The mod that Motorola and Verizon really care about is not going to be available until 2019, and that's going to be a module that will turn this phone into one of the first phones that can ever access Verizon's 5G speeds. Now, 5G is the next generation data technology that is going to make uploads and downloads insanely fast, like an order of magnitude faster than the fastest 4G LTE speeds that we have today. So let me put this aside because I've completely forgotten about everything else that's in the box. I just got so carried away with the phone. Um, so we've got a little slip of paper here, some literature that will probably tell us a little bit more about the phone. Um, meet your new phone. Uh, product safety and warranty information and consumer safety information. These are, they come with every phone. Uh, what else do we have? We have a 15 watt turbo charger in the box and we've got the USB-A to USB-C charging cable here. Um, so those will go together. There is no headphone jack. However, what we have, we've got a little tether keep the cords together. So there's no headphone jack, but we do have an adapter dongle that comes in the box, and that will be a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack dongle that will adapt to your USB-C port. I like seeing these in the box. It's still something extra that you can lose. I really wish that every one of these phones still had their headphone jack, but at least Motorola is helping you out. So this is one less thing you're gonna have to buy on your own. And um, that's it. The rest of the box is pretty much empty. Okay, so that was my unboxing of the Moto Z3. Now you know what comes with it. If you wanna know more about the phone, like specs, first impressions, I've got a first look video, we've got editors react, and I'll have a full review coming soon.